We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined by Mr. Yunus Karim, who is Minister of Communications for South Africa. Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for having me, and I'm certainly delighted to be here too, mind you. That's fantastic. Now, I'd just like to start off by talking about this year's event's theme is Embracing Change in a Digital World. Where do you see the biggest opportunities in that change for industry and for society, and what are the biggest challenges? Well, of course, uh, for me, it's especially valuable to be here at this first ever ITU. I'm here in this portfolio for the last five months, so I'm a baby, if you like, so I'm here mainly to learn. But already I see, in the 24 hours I'm here, uh, the advantages of moving to, from analog to digital TV. In particular, of course, it's short-term, medium-term and long-term consequences the release of spectrum, much needed radio frequency spectrum, particularly for mobile operators. In our country, we have very high costs to communicate, which inhibits uh, foreign investment, but also domestic investment. So we think the pressure now on the mobile operators to reduce costs for communication is greater, and they'll have less excuse not to do so. And what we want to do is to ensure that the most disadvantaged people in our country, the most rural and r of rural people, the poorest of the poor, begin to understand that they can use their cell phone at a much lower cost for a variety of things beyond just making phone calls and SMSs. And indeed, in our own continent, in Kenya and other countries, they are using the mobile phone for opportunities for self-employment, and for people to be creatively engaged who are at the moment unemployed. In our country, as you might know, the figures range from 28 to 40 percent in respect of unemployment. The formal economy will never absorb these people, but using the power of the cell phone, once we educated them to do so, is something that I think offers our country and many other developing countries considerable opportunities for growth, particularly of the poor. So how is South Africa embracing the change? Well, firstly, we're in a very interesting period. On the 4th of December, government is going to take final decisions, the cabinet is, on the issue of digital migration and a program around it and exactly whether we use set-top boxes, if so, how, and should we, if you like, have a control system or not? And if we choose to do one of those two, how does it benefit the poor? In particular, our concern is to protect our broadcaster, the South African Broadcasting Corporation, which is losing market audiences, like elsewhere in the world public broadcasters are, to the commercial broadcasters, both who serve in the free-to-air and those who are on pay TV. So we're also, on this very day, the 4th of December, our cabinet deciding finally on our broadband policy strategy and plan. So we see a link between the transfer to digital migration the decisions about broadband policy, strategy, and plan, and spectrum. Finally, I know that you've uh, been uh, here only 24 hours, but I wanted to ask you, what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Well, as I say, we are exactly poised on the cusp of making these decisions. I have just rolled in, so actually I'm half asleep. I hope your listeners are aware. I'm told by my colleagues who got here two days ago that there's a wonderful exhibition out there. And for somebody relatively new to this area, and I'm learning every day, and it's a fascinating area, I am amazed at how much there is here that you can do to advance the cause of particularly the poor and the disadvantaged, not just economies as a whole. This very panel I've just emerged from, I was very struck that other countries in Africa and the developing world are experiencing much the same problems. I was very struck that the Kenyan minister says, I'm the most unpopular minister at the moment, managing all these stakeholders on this issue of migration to digital TV from analog and their vested interests. Well, you have precisely the same issues in South Africa, where I think I'm slowly becoming one of the more unpopular ministers, as new as I am. So it is a relief to know I'm not alone. Minister Karim, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. And thank you indeed for having me here.